Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So originally, today's plans have just changed. We were supposed to be going to Disneyland, but the weather is not permitting it, which is so annoying. Um, it's basically thunderstorming off and on all day today, so we are just gonna go back in a couple of weeks. Um, but I figured I would just do a day in the life since I'm ready. I need to go run a few errands. I need to go to the store, Trader Joe's, Coffee Bean, um, and that's pretty much it. So I will just take you guys along today. I am just wearing um, my Lululemon Aligns, some moccasins I got from Target. My mirror is super dirty because Stella continues to kiss it. Um, and then I'm also just wearing a cute little pullover from Pink that I got probably like a month or two ago. Um, but yeah, so I am going to load Stella up in the car. And I guess <laughs> we'll just see what today brings. I'm super bummed though and super sad because I was really excited to take Stella back to Disneyland today. But And once again, like always, my house is a mess. Stella. All right guys, we just got back home from Trader Joe's, Coffee Bean, and just running a couple of errands. Um, I just mentioned this on Instagram, but I'll mention it here. Trader Joe's for a Thursday was a madhouse. Uh, like, I'm personally not freaking out about this virus, honestly, but a lot of people are. So I'm just curious how many of you are actually freaking out. It's just, it's honestly insane. It's insane to me. I feel like I've heard mixed things about it, but um hi baby so anyways yeah i just thought i'd mention because trader joe's was a madhouse and i was just like mind blown because normally on a thursday at like 10 30 a.m trader joe's is super empty which i love but today it was almost like a weekend and super crowded so um but i'm gonna show you everything we got from trader joe's it was just um a quick little trip i went in and out and got a few things that we needed i'm gonna hold you oh you're full of <gasps> let's take your sweater off you're full of <sighs> so i gave her those squeezable yogurts and she's still like learning how to she knows how to eat it but she loves to make a mess out of it um and it got all over her new sweater we bought you yesterday oh my goodness i got this new cute paw patrol um, sweater at Target yesterday for like $7.99, $8.99. Baby, you gotta learn how to eat your yogurt without making a mess, my love. Okay, let me do this haul real quick and then I'll feed you some lunch. How does that sound? <laughs> does that sound good? She wants some milk. Just give me a second. <sighs> All right, so. I picked up some I picked up some butternut squash ravioli. This is a seasonal thing normally and it's so good. Um, I picked up some more pulled chicken breast. <laughs> Obviously some more organic baked tofu in the teriyaki flavor. Some garlic powder, some minced garlic, olive oil spray. They just came out with this, this coconut almond creamer. I'm sure it's really good, but I figured I'd try it out since I went to the grocery store the other day. They didn't have the one I usually buy. Um, obviously, I needed some wine. I've been craving wine, and I'm not really much of a drinker, but lately I've been craving a glass. So I picked up this wine. This one is my favorite from Trader Joe's, and it's semi-sweet. I personally don't like anything super sweet. I picked up these golden berries to snack on. I needed more chili onion crunch because I just ran out today. I picked up some more of my turkey bacon. I was craving some soup, so I picked up this minestrone soup that I probably will warm up for lunch. I picked up Stella some more yogurt. Um, this one is a strawberry beet and berry and the spinach mango and pear. I saw this and it just sounded super delicious for some reason, so we'll see how I like it. But it's a just beet juice and I was just craving some type of juice for some reason today so I picked that up. I picked this up for Stella and I, the gnocchi, really good. I also picked up some colorful carrot coins. These are actually really good. I picked up some more of my almond vegan cheese and some cauliflower and broccoli. And that is pretty much it. Super quick trip. So I forgot how good these golden berries are. I'm honestly about to eat the whole container. They're so good. They taste like a mix of kiwi, orange, and grapes. 
Oops, you can't even see me. But yeah, they taste like a mix of kiwi, orange, and grape. They're so good. If you haven't tried the golden berries, I highly recommend them. They're a little tangy, so it's different. Mm. I just made Stella some Trader Joe's gnocchi. Something, something simple and quick. Today we really don't have much going on. The weather sucks, so I think we're just gonna do some coloring, hanging out. I'm gonna put her down for a nap probably in like an hour. She's over here eating her veggie chips. She's obsessed with the veggie chips, guys. Are those good? Why don't you go eat your lunch over there, baby, that mommy made you? Are you gonna ignore mama? <laughs> She's like reading the label. I love you. I love you. Huh, sweet girl? This good? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you so beautiful? Why are you so beautiful? Ooh. Whoa. Here, you can see yourself like this. Watch. Ooh. Give a kiss. Give a kiss. No. She's been so loving lately. Like her personality shines more and more every day. And she's she's just such a sweetheart, you guys. Like just randomly throughout the day, all day pretty much, she'll come up behind me and just hug me or she'll like grab my face with both her hands and kiss me and she's just so sweet. I just cannot get over her. Some days like I still cannot believe I'm a mom. <laughs> like even though she's like gonna be two years old in like five months, or even four months, five months. Um, yeah, sometimes I'm just like, wow. Like I cannot believe I'm a mom. I can't. I still can't. Cannot believe it. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels that way, but it's just so crazy. But I love it. I love it. I love being her mama. I love being your mama. All right, bye. Bye. All right, see ya. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. And every time I trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you help me the way I help you? You don't have to say it. cleaning Stella's crayons off the kitchen and I just realized she made a heart <laughs> and I've been teaching her actually to make circles and hearts so cute away and I wanted to show a couple of things that I forgot to show in the haul and um, also yesterday I went to Target because I thought we were originally gonna go to Disneyland today and a lot of her jackets don't fit over her cast so I wanted to get her a raincoat um, they had tons of different raincoats but this is the one that I personally liked so it's just a soft pink very pretty it's lined on the inside with some bunnies so cute and it also has some really adorable bunny ears on the hood which I thought was so cute um this is $18.99 so it wasn't badly priced also the sweater that you've seen her wear in the beginning of the vlog um is something that I bought her yesterday as well and I think it was $7.99 or $8.99 I can't remember um they had tons of different things and then also in my spring clothing haul in my last video I forgot to show you guys these 
So when Stella was a newborn, I ordered these knee-high socks off Amazon and she wore them all the time. What are you doing? She wore them all the time, but sadly, she's just way too like big for them now. So I reordered them for her and her size. Um, and they come in about six different colors. And I swear, this is like the best quality. I believe the whole pack is $10.99, I want to say. I'll leave a link for it in the description box. So that way, if you guys want to purchase them, you guys will have like a quick link for that. Um, but these are so cute just for like the spring, summer, fall. She could use these all year round. Um, but like I said, she outgrew her old one. So I needed to order her a couple of new pairs. And I realized in my last video, I forgot to show you a few of the things that I bought her recently at Zara. So I will just include a clip here next. All right, so we just got home and I'm washing our sheets, so excuse the no sheets on the bed. But I placed an order um, off Zara for Stella and it came in, it came in within like two or three days. So I was like super shocked, but look how freaking cute. So I just got her a couple of basics. All right, so she's growing so quick. Um, like she's super long. So I grabbed 2T and all of these items, but like these for sure look a little too big and I know the shirts for sure are super big but you know what she's gonna grow into them which is I'd rather have them a little big than small um, and then look how cute the sweater is for sure this will fit her it's gonna be like an oversized look um, so so cute but I just wanted to share some of the items that I got her but how cute are these outfits I could just die I need a top in this color for me it's coming off a little bit darker on camera but in person it's more of like a lighter rest um but yeah i love i'm just like a neutral a neutral queen so um yeah these are super cute and then zara also has like the softest clothes ever like not just for babies but um for like adults and everything too but i thought these were so cute um these were 12.90 and i believe the tops were like yeah, 790 as well. So yeah, I just wanted to share. It has cute little button details. And it has like little rips on, ruffle rips on the side. So I love the scallop detail as well. I cannot. So I just put Stella down for a nap. It is a 152. And apparently President Trump just canceled like everything. Uh, I didn't see the news, but I've had like family and friends message me because as you guys all know, Andrew's on deployment right now. <laughs> and I, I swear, like in the last 10 minutes, I probably had five different people message me like, oh, what's gonna happen with Andrew? I haven't talked to him today because of the time difference between him and I. But when I asked him last week regarding it, like what would happen, let's just say something like this were to happen, um, he said most likely they wouldn't cancel his deployment, but they would cancel his ports. So for the remainder of the time, I can't open this. I'm about to warm up some organic minestrone soup from Trader Joe's. This is really good. But it's not opening. Hopefully, I just took the trash out and it's pouring rain, so if my hair looks wild, <laughs> that's why. Um, but he said that they would just cancel the ports, um, which obviously is safe for all of them, but sucks for them at the same time because again they can't leave the ship for the remainder of the other months on the ship so i'm not sure um i guess i will find more of an update when he calls me usually he calls me around three or four and it's now almost two so hopefully he calls me and i can get an update with that um but yeah i'm not sure it canceled his deployment in a way that would obviously be nice i would love to have him home but they could also send him back out when this all dies down for the remainder of the time so in a way, I'd rather him not come back home, <laughs> um, if that makes sense. So that way he could just finish off his deployment and not have to go back out and make up time. Or they could just send him home and um, he may not have to make up time at all. So I guess we will find out and see. Oh, also too, I just got a notification too that they shut down Disneyland today, like California Adventures, which is like the main side we hang out on with Stella anyways, and Disney itself. So I would have drove all that way down there for them to possibly not even be open at all or for them just to kick us out. But I mean, I'm personally not scared of the crisis, but then obviously it's 
that serious that they're canceling flights, canceling all these different things. So I kind of don't know how I feel about it. I know they said that they haven't, it, like it doesn't affect children, which thank God, because I hate seeing Stella sick. And luckily I'm healthy, like my immune system is not down. So I really don't know what to think. I mean, I'm stocked up with food. I have toilet paper and everything. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's still pretty cold. But yeah, I don't know what to think. So I'm not scared or anything, but it's just it's just weird, you know what I mean? So I don't know how you guys feel about it. I know everybody and their mother is talking about it right now. So because um, it's a pretty big thing, but I mean, is your guys' families like stocking up on a bunch of things? Are you guys getting prepared? Um, one of my friends actually just messaged me saying that she went to Trader Joe's, not Trader Joe's, I'm sorry, um, Stater Brothers, back where I'm from, in my hometown, and I guess they were saying that they might close down everything if President Trump closes down the whole state. So yeah, I'm not quite sure. I, honestly, I really don't know what to think. Uh, I don't know what to think so I guess we'll kind of just see what happens I'm about to make a coffee and eat the soup I haven't had lunch today and I didn't want any of the food that I made Stella earlier just I wasn't craving it but yeah so I'm cleaning up here Stella just went down for her nap the older she's getting the later her naps are which are nice and also her bedtime is later it's more like 8, 8, 8 or 8.30 which I don't mind either um Two more people just messaged me asking me about Andrew's deployment. So my water bottle makes this weird noise. So I probably would do like a post on Instagram saying I really don't know what's going to happen, but most likely his deployment won't be canceled. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's the update now. I'm going to eat my lunch, make a coffee, and yeah, I guess. You guys, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this, but I was in the middle of doing a story. My power completely died. So... I'm charging my phone now. I'm about to make my coffee because I haven't made it yet, but I ate my soup. Um, I live in the middle of nowhere, so if my power dies, I have no cell service because I only have service through my Wi-Fi technically. Stella's baby monitor doesn't work. I'm praying that my power stays on and that was just a fluke. But yeah, that was not fun. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do if my power dies. Yeah, so I'm going to make a coffee real quick. You guys, it died again. No, and I'm I'm about to lose. Shit. I don't know what I'm. It's going off. It's going off and on, off and on. I'm like freaking out. Please go back on. Please go back on, you guys. I'm freaking out. I need to shut the fridge. I just. Please turn back on. Like this has to be a joke. I've had like the worst week and a half. This has to be a joke. This should freaking work without Wi-Fi. No, because it's plugged into the freaking wall. That's why it's not working. It doesn't need to be on Wi-Fi. It's like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> it's like, let me show you guys. It's like pouring rain out there. I don't know if you could tell, but it's not like going down like a thunderstorm. So I don't know. All right, well, I need to figure things out. So I guess I will try to catch up with you guys later. Pray that my power goes back on. I don't know. This is like a complete nightmare. A nightmare. You guys, power's back on. I couldn't be any more, any more happier. It was out for like an hour, I'm not even joking. So I'm charging my phone. What time is it? It's 3.25, so prayers that my power stays on because or else I would have had to go on base, get a hotel room, pack up the dogs, pack up Stella. That would have been way stressful. Also, my new glasses just came in. Do you guys like them? I think they're super cute, they're Ray-Bans. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna charge my phone. Let's see, it's 3.30, but I'm gonna cook dinner now just in case just in case um probably pack a bag just in case as well because it's gonna start getting darker probably in like 
two and a half hours or so. So I, I will update you guys in a little bit what's going on. Today's been the day. Today, I think, yeah, today's been the day. I've had a crazy week or two and I'm ready. I'm ready for all this weird stuff to stop happening. So I will just talk with you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so I'm keeping dinner so simple tonight because my power keeps on going out and I'm not about to cook an extravagant dinner. I don't need that for myself. I forgot, uh, grab. I also need to organize my fridge, but mom life have not had the time. So I am just gonna make butternut squash ravioli. This is when frozen stuff comes in clutch. Um, I'm making organic fresh vegetables ground turkey with this rose marinara, and that's it. You got your lean meat, you got your carbs, <laughs> you got your veggies. Quick, simple, delicious. So I'm I really hope my power doesn't go out again. Freaking drives me crazy. Oh, yeah. Also, when I made my coffee right now, I tried this coffee creamer. I approve of it, very good. Um, I didn't try frothing it, so I'm not sure how well it's gonna froth, but in my coffee by itself was really delicious. So I'm just gonna season this with a couple of my favorite seasonings, some garlic powder from Trader Joe's. Love garlic powder. Some garlic salt, not too much because the rose marinara, it's not salty, but it has enough flavor, and then some onion salt. So there's that and then maybe some pepper Stella's watching cat in the hat so if it's loud in the background that is why she's so into um, cat in the hat right now it's so cute at um, Target right now they have really cute cat in the hat dresses like for Disney and stuff Although, no one's gonna be going to Disneyland anytime soon since they're closed for like the remainder of the month or a whole month or something like that. You guys, people are going crazy. They're going crazy and I can't, I can't handle it. There's, people are saying they're gonna now buy baby wipes. If I can't buy baby wipes for my daughter, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna punch somebody. I'm gonna punch somebody. Like, there's toilet wipes. You don't need to be buying baby wipes, it's just, it's a little insane to be honest so that's my thoughts on that I'm just gonna finish cooking and I will show you guys everything once it's done I'm gonna listen to some music chill relax good thing you know what I'm gonna have I bought some wine so tonight that's what that's the plan tonight I'm gonna make cookies with Stella have a glass of wine and just enjoy the night so I'm praying the power definitely does not go out because that sounds so relaxing so favorite wine I showed you guys in the hall Trader Joe's $7.99 can't go wrong <laughs> I'm so sorry where'd you get that pen from hello Stella This is what I get for letting her eat on the couch today. As if today couldn't get any more. You know what, I'm gonna be positive. I'm just gonna clean it up, but look at her. Why are you licking your bowl, babe? That's sick. I cannot today, I cannot. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching my disastrous of a day, kind of, style is right here breastfeeding. But we are just gonna chill for the rest of the night, probably make cookies, watch movies, and just relax. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like and subscribe. We would love to have you here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. the room it's kind of crowded here but i know you see me too everybody's singing oh everybody's singing oh i don't know what it is about you it must be in the way you move just say you want me to we got nothing to lose you're looking so old you're looking
Baby, let me love 